new Google Nest Wi-Fi Mesh is a follow-up to the massively successful first-generation Google Wi-Fi Mesh system. There are some new design updates, improved Wi-Fi speed, and some great new features. So today we're going to be reviewing new Google Nest Wi-Fi Mesh system. So please stick around till the end of this video to see the results. Let's do the unboxing and see its contents. The box includes one Nest Wi-Fi router, one Nest Wi-Fi point, two power adapters, and an Ethernet cable. Now let's check out the specs. Google Nest Wi-Fi is powered by a quad-core 64-bit ARM CPU running at 1.4 GHz, supports AC2200, MU-MIMO, supports 802.11s Wi-Fi mesh standards, has dual band 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, WPA3 encryption, Bluetooth 5, and Wi-Fi router has dual gigabit Ethernet ports, one for WAN and one for local LAN, and also supports Google Voice Assistant. Hi, to get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh system was very easy to set up. All you have to do is download Google Home app to your Android or iOS device, connect Wi-Fi router to your modem, or if you have Fios, you can connect directly to your Ethernet cable, then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. Google Nest Wi-Fi is composed of a new Wi-Fi router and a separately similarly shaped Wi-Fi point. According to Google, that now extends your coverage 25% further than the previous generation. It is enough for 3800 square feet of home with one Wi-Fi router and one Wi-Fi point. Only the Wi-Fi point has a Google Assistant smart speaker built in. And they work with thousands of connected devices from brands you love. Play music, manage your Wi-Fi network, and more using your voice. Just say hey Google, pause Wi-Fi for Kevin's device. Plus pause Wi-Fi to limit screen time for kids. One Wi-Fi router with one Wi-Fi point is strong enough to handle up to 200 connected devices and fast enough to stream multiple 4K videos at the same time. Also the good news is the new Google Nest Wi-Fi is compatible with previous generation Google Wi-Fi system. So now let's talk about the performance and do some testing. So we place the Google Nest Wi-Fi router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. We also placed Nest Wi-Fi point on the second floor of the house and configured the Wi-Fi mesh network. So I will be testing Wi-Fi connection on different parts of the house and floors to see how well it performs in terms of speed and coverage. Okay, so here you can see on the phone screen we have Google Wi-Fi named Google Nest Wi-Fi and for reference Wi-Fi name Batman is Netgear RB AC3000 mesh Wi-Fi system. I have 100 by 100 megabits per second Verizon Fios connection and standing right next to the Wi-Fi router, I'm getting full speed, which is great, confirming that the Wi-Fi router is working properly. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the router in the basement with couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router and the phone. I have so far solid Wi-Fi connection with still excellent Wi-Fi speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a third Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Now I am standing right next to Google Nest Point on the second floor of the house and Wi-Fi connection is still strong with great Wi-Fi speed. Now I am moved to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi router and 30 feet from the Wi-Fi point. Here we still have great Wi-Fi signal with good Wi-Fi speed. Now let's move far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi router and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi point. Here we are still have great Wi-Fi signal with good Wi-Fi speed. Now let's move to the second floor of the house and do a final Wi-Fi speed and Wi-Fi coverage test. Here we have two floors and few walls between the Wi-Fi router and one floor and few walls between the Wi-Fi point and the phone. Again, to my surprise, the signal strength is 100% with excellent Wi-Fi speed. Google's new routers doesn't support the new Wi-Fi 6 standard, but the company does claim the new routers are twice as fast as the previous generation. It still supports Wi-Fi 5, 802.11s Wi-Fi mesh standards, 
powered by quad-core 64-bit ARM CPU running at 1.4 GHz, supports AC2200, MU-MIMO, dual band, WPA3 encryption, Bluetooth 5, and supports Google Voice Assistant. The two-pack new Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh system costs $269, and there's a three-pack for $349. They're backbook compatible with the existing Google Wi-Fi point, which is sticking around at $99 and you can buy a single Nest Wi-Fi router with 2200 square feet coverage for $169. They're potentially compatible with other brands too since they support 802.11s mesh networking standard. This is a great plus point for Google because other brands typically don't make these devices compatible. Overall, Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh system perform extremely well in this review. Google Nest Wi-Fi Mesh System delivers good coverage and had no problem covering 5,000 square feet house with good Wi-Fi speed in all areas of the house. But it is hard to recommend new Google's Nest Wi-Fi Mesh System for anyone who is in the market for new Wi-Fi router. Because it lacks Wi-Fi 6 port, limited AC2200 Wi-Fi speed, and there are similarly priced better and speedier Wi-Fi options like Netgear Orbi and TP-Link's new Wi-Fi 6 router for only $129. Let me know what you guys think of the new Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh system in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon for notification for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.